Hey guys, welcome back to another video this week, and this week I decided to tell a story in not like a written story, all that all that stuff, no, but more like a, a family a family history in terms of what's been going on this week. So if you don't know, this week is Eurovision. You know, the Eurovision Song Contest. If you didn't know, it's this 60 year, lo year long, 60 year old competition between all the nations of Europe and Australia. You know, that, yeah, everybody knows this where you know, we all get together for one for one week to compete with each other to get the best song. Yeah, that's the deal. And so far, it's it's this week. It happened last, yesterday, where the semi-finals were happening. And I thought I'd share with you just a little bit in terms of how my family, for all of its faults and everything, absolutely loves Eurovision. <laughs> it's just, and, and it's weird because like, when when you when I as long as I've been growing up, you know, in the sense of like as as I got older, I started to learn more about Eurovision, all the history, and all that stuff. But also, I got to learn about the attitude towards it in terms of like how what kind of, what kind of person you you are if you watch it, which is always weird, especially if you grow up in a little boys' school, which you know, the t the term gay is sort of used quite. Not in terms of offensive, because like I mean, that's the fact. The fact that I grew up at a time when saying gay was a you know a slang for just like anything bad. I don't know why, but it, it was more like if you watched Eurovision, you were a bit more camp, and you watched and you watched it, you know, for the you know the sake of it. I, I don't know. I don't know how you feel about it, but it's like if if you were if you watched Eurovision, you were gay. I don't know what I don't know why. Probably because when you're twelve or thirteen, you're a boy, you're an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> That that's just the attitude, but I found it uh, kind of weird because like my family has watched it for eons. You know, like I mean, I do. It's one of those things where my where my family has a long traditional history of watching Eurovision. <laughs> yeah, and it, and it just doesn't just stem by watching the the show on the Saturday Saturday night. Yeah, where you watch the winner. No, we watch the semi finals. We also score you know, score the, each song as whether we like it or not. That's what we've been doing for recent years. It's like we. We print out the score sheets that they put on the BBC website, and they just we we give them a score out of ten. And also to 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 illustrate how much we love it, um, one one other little tradition that's that sort of has happened is that every year, like my dad asks for the same gift on Father's Day, and that is the Eurovision C CD compilation. In other words, you know, a, a CD track of all the songs of Eurovision. And just to give you a little bit of an idea of how long this has been, this is only some of them. <laughs> yeah, there's yeah we say some of these date back to two thousand three, you know, and this is more than like we have some dating like early two thousand. Yeah, so that's like eighteen CDs. Like we have, we are well known for making sure that that is the one gift that we get him because every year we always find something like about Eurovision. It's just weird, and and. <laughs> I don't know, it's just, it's very funny that, like, no matter what happens, we always make a point that that's, like, one of the traditions we have. You know, no matter what's going on in our lives, we make sure we get to go for that. I mean, I skipped university for, like, a time when I had exams or, or like, research papers to do. Sorry, yawning. <sighs> I would still, you know, go back up on the weekend with the with the family, talk to you the night, and then go back on the Sunday. That's just the deal. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it, and it's funny how like, when you grow up in an old boys boys school, how like the attitude is, oh, if you watch Eurovision, you're gay, which is just, I don't know, I don't know why. I mean, to emphasize that again, it's, yeah, grew up at the time when for some reason anything related to that was an insult, which only proves that how much we were idiots, you know, proves how proves how not creative we were. We were not, we didn't, we could not think of any other better insults than that, and I don't know why, you know. God, yeah. You know, just makes just makes you think like, why the hell is that my gen my generation? My generation of idiots who couldn't think of a better insult than just the word gay. And it's not even an insult, it's it's nothing. You know? Even then, like some people I knew at school were gay and we didn't do anything with it. It's just like you know, it's just like, alright, you are, that's it, and then call the other guys gay. It's just like Oh, good lord. <laughs> but anyway, that's not the point of this video. I just wanted to point out how like this this has been one of those things where for years we've we've loved this. And I don't know if anyone has has this in their in their family where like this this weird sort of this song contest has taken over my family so much so much. I mean there are songs from earlier years which they like, didn't win or didn't even qualify, 
where we will still hum the tune or know the lyrics or know it off by heart or you know, you know or there's or there's ones where we'll still dance to it because it's just like yeah we we love it so much, so much that's the deal and if any of you were on my twitter last night um i was basically just on watching the semi-finals of this year and i was just tweeting my reactions to each and every one of them one of the countries and me trying to be funny, which is, you know, not a good thing. I always find it a little bit sad that, like, I would try and think of something entertaining to tweet out for, like, the BBC to do it, to say. And then whenever they said someone's tw someone else's tweet, it was so much more funnier than mine. I was like, God damn it, just, like, come on, <laughs> just once I'd like to think of something funny. <laughs> but that's, that's Twitter for you, everyone can be a comedian. So, I don't, you know, it's just one of those weird things where it's just, like, I've always just shared the fact that, like, no matter what I heard growing up, you know, despite the fact that, oh, you had to be a little more camp or a bit more, you know, in the music, musical sing Sony kind of thing to watch this. I've been watching this since I was, like, five. Or, year five or six. Like, it has been a long-running tradition in my family to watch it and then get depressed when we don't win and then get even more sad when the country we want to win doesn't, <laughs> you know. My family does get kind of heated and angry with that because it's just, like... We, we, we get genuinely mad, you know? There, you know. there are some winners of some years where we refuse to play them. You know, my dad plays all, uh, all, all of these in the car, and there are some where he'll just skip over because just like, no, I didn't like the fact that they won. You know? Or, like, so, or he doesn't like the fact that, like, you know, that, that these didn't get through. It's just, you know, we, we all have our own different opinion, opinions of it, and it's just funny how, like, thinking about it, how it's going on, it's going on this week, and it's just like, Wow, we have been obsessed with this thing for like 19, 18, 19 years. You know, basically most of my life. And it's funny how like there are times when like, whenever the European Song Contest has got close to us, you know, like those ones when I think it was in Sweden or, so, or somewhere or like, so, or Hungary or, what, or whatever. You know, if, you know, we keep on thinking like, if it gets close enough, we'll actually do a holiday in that, in that city just so we can go to Eurovision. You know, nothing against anything, it's just that we we just love it so much. That's the whole deal. It, it's like, it's really, really funny to watch. It's just ridiculous. And it's probably delicious I'll carry on later as well. You know, like, you know, where it's just like, you know, get, get together, have drinks, have, have, a, have a night of just watching the weirdest songs ever made, the weirdest costumes, and it's just funny. And I don't know, I, I thought I'd just share that with you, just to show that, like, my family has this long obsession with this song contest <laughs> so yeah, this song this 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 video really is in the battery i just want to showcase the fact that my family really loves your vision that's just it and uh, so guys that's it for this video sorry but if there's no, no profound or, or depressing anything you know i thought i'd give a nice little light-hearted video you know to showcase that my family has a really long tradition between for a tv event but guys that's just it for the video i will see you guys next week like, comment, subscribe if you feel the same way. Like, do you guys love Eurovision? Do you guys do you guys have families that plan, like, evenings for it where you, like, do reviews of, of each song? You know? Let me know, let me know down below. Uh, if you want to know, I will also... I'll still be tweeting for, like, the next semi-final and possibly the final. I don't, I don't know fully. But I'll do my best. But anyway, guys, that's it for the video. See you guys next week. Bye!